What's up, guys? Out here in the guy rise this morning, working on some, doing some working on the scrappy. I uh, took the carburetor off of the engine that just wore out off of my Schwinn. And since I'm getting a brand new kit for it, I don't need that carburetor no more. And it's already pre-tuned, you know, at least for that bike. It's got the 69 Jet. And uh, I then swapped out this carburetor. This was the carburetor that was on this bike. And that is the carburetor I just that came off of the Schwinn with the 69 jet. This has a stock jet. I'll go ahead and show you the before video that I just ran down the road and uh, did a little test on it. Uh, see how it ran, the four stroking, and you know, how much power it had when I pull in a pit or a uh, top speed run. Uh, so I'll go ahead and throw that in there and let's see that real quick. You can see the comparisons. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I got it up to 28 miles an hour, but uh, yeah, eh, it's all right. It's got a 42 sprocket on the back. Now let's jump on her with the 69 jet and see how she does with this carburetor on. <laughs> Still slight four stroking around 22, 23 miles an hour at steady throttle. I uh, got a one mile an hour better on the incline pull and the top speed though. I'm going to drop, raise the the uh, clip just one notch. That'll be the second from the top notch, and we'll see what it does then. <laughs>
checking me south a little bit of gas. first video a lot of gurgling and chuckling and stuff like that going on it's a lot smoother i could probably go up to the very top on that clip or the needle clip and it wouldn't hurt a thing uh it probably smoothed out even more on the uh you know on the slower lower rpms it, she's uh she's still four stroke in there but i ain't really worried about it that'll do we'll call that good for now we got 29 mile hour of it at that time and uh Going to test out some different pipe on there in the next video. So looking forward to that one. Till next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.